Let's Talk Trash took place on February the 21st at the Golden Age Club with a good number of Ganwagiro, including myself. Talk was on garbage pickup, recycling, and composting. I was there to talk to the organizers later on. Well, I very much enjoyed the event. I thought there was a lot of great information that was brought into the community. One of the big things that I truly learned was about the Tim Hortons and McDonald cups not being recyclable. I, I really thought that they were recyclable. And also I learned how, how gas is being put into water to create water bottles. The so plastics. yeah, the plastics and it was such a, such a shock. I never knew that. Okay, yeah, well, um we do research all the time. We we need to know what's happening, what new products are coming in, and how to handle them, because products are being created and uh, without even thinking about the life cycle, what's going to happen with them. And most of the plastics uh, end up in the oceans. And if you look on the, some of the websites, those big gyres, those plastic um, islands, islands of plastic garbage. So we have to do our part to. Uh, get a handle on that. Um, I think that there was more people that showed up to the event um, from the past when I went to uh, one of the Kipo meetings. So I think that was a positive and there's a lot more questions being asked to Holly and I think that there was good feedback. A lot of people liked it. I think it went well. We had a, I was expecting 10, we got 16. I was, uh, okay, please with the outcome. I wish more people would have come because it's, I think when you spend so much money, um, $350,000 a year on garbage, it should have more attention that we actually got. But I was okay with the people that showed up. We talked about recycling, we talked about Transfer Depot, we talked about uh, special collections. So it was mostly all that had to do with waste management. As we bring our garbage out to the within to the province we export it outside of the community we're since we do that we're governed by the Quebec policy and they're trying to remove organics from the waste stream so they don't want organics going into their landfill sites and in our waste management plan one of our items is to increase the amount of um, mit organic material that we compost so we've been promoting backyard composting for the last maybe 10 years or so, we've done workshops, uh, just uh, provided information, uh, material to the community. We've done uh, a lot of in-school workshops as well. But now we're moving towards developing a community compost for the leaves and uh, all the items that we collect uh, in the fall and the Christmas trees. And we're slowly gonna start developing uh, community composting for those that don't have a composting bin in their backyard. 